good morning dear parents and you dear students it has been 3 months that we are trying to master the new way of approaching the education and of course it has been a tough time for us all thanks to all of you on the onset for your solidarity and cooperation with us it is my great pleasure to introduce to you our new teachers we have mr hanumandu raj to the department of kannada from 5th august he is assigned to grade 4 grade 6 and grade 7 we have miss chitra nayar to the department of english from 17th of august and she is assigned to english literature for grade 5 and grade 6 and english grammar for grade 2 miss deepa pillai is appointed in the department of hindi from 20th august and she is assigned to grade 2 4 and 5 miss rachel vincent is appointed in the department of maths from 20th august she will take up the maths in grade 5 and 6 there are also a few shufflings made in the previous assignments of teachers for grade 2 english grammar will be handled by miss chitra nayar in place of mr pratik kumar and for grade 2 again hindi will be handled by miss deepa pillai in place of miss nihasmi for grade 3 english literature will be handled by mr pradeep kumar in place of miss shaini daniel and hindi will be handled by miss nihasmi for grade 6 mathematics will be handled by miss rachel vincent in place of miss elizabeth and for grade 7 mathematics will be handled by miss elizabeth i thank all other teachers who were handling these subjects in these grades till now and of course the depth and intensity of teaching learning has not been asked in the normal classes despite giving more than 100 percentage on the part of teachers and students and obviously from your dear parents we took this situation as a challenge we took this situation as an opportunity and tried to reach every student and how used various platforms to achieve our target we had to adapt improvise and even had to forego a few plans at times we were using the whatsapp platform for the interactive sessions there are limitations as well as shortcomings such as not being able to see each other not being able to have an interaction even virtually to replicate or to represent what has been in the classroom setup and it has also been a request from a number of parents to have live interaction hence we are looking forward to making it possible to this end there is a plan and there is a strategy that we have envisaged so there would be a change in the uploading schedules and in the time table for the interactions i request you to pay attention to the new schedules and the plans for grade 1 and 2 if you notice there are two subject videos per week uploaded on mondays and thursdays the class notes will be uploaded on the next day after uploading the videos worksheet will be uploaded with one day's gap and the worksheets answer keys will be uploaded after two days on the next day of uploading the next video unit test will be conducted 
on the unit test answer keys will be given two days later the subjects are panned in three weeks the first week we have hindi and dvs uploaded on monday and friday thursday the second week we have english literature and english grammar uploaded on monday and thursday and on third week mathematics and kannada uploaded on monday and thursdays and for grade 3 there are three videos per week on mondays wednesdays and fridays for them the subjects are planned in two weeks on the first week english literature evs and english grammar and on the second week hindi mathematics and kannada videos will be uploaded on monday wednesday and friday respectively and this will be repeated for the third and fourth week and for grade four the subjects are planned in two weeks in the first week we have english literature science and on friday hindi and english grammar will be uploaded in the second week Kannada, Mathematics and Social Science and for grade 5 the first week we have English Literature, Science and Social Science Monday, Wednesday and Friday and the second week Kannada, Mathematics and Hindi on Monday, Wednesday and Fridays respectively and this will be repeated for the third and fourth week and for grade 6 and 7 there are four videos per week spread from Monday to Friday. So overall you have you are getting in a month seven subjects including English grammar. We also have a specific plan for the students to improve and bring proficiency in their English language. As part of this we have introduced phonetics and public speaking and personality development to the curriculum. For this, there is one video each per week for both these topics. That is, on Thursdays, there is a video for public speaking and personality development, and on Friday, there is a video for phonetics. Students are preparing their own videos or follow up activities based on these videos, which is then sent to the WhatsApp group, and the concerned teacher gives the feedback. The interactive sessions for these two videos will be continued as it is going on right now via WhatsApp. That is on Friday for public speaking and personality de development and on Mondays for phonetics. Another important area that needs attention is the writing skill of our students. A good and legible handwriting is an all important achievement that one ought to have. For this, we have introduced handwriting for grade 1 to 3 and calligraphy for grade 4 to 7. Parents need to encourage the students to make the best use of this opportunity. Ask them to complete the task given by the instructor for this purpose, like writing a page with a legible handwriting or calligraphic writings etc. As for the other specific subjects, live interactive sessions are scheduled for Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Remember Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays via Google Meet. The schedule will be sent to you in the WhatsApp group as well as in the school portal and teachers will remind you as we begin this uh, Google Meet every day. For grade 1 and grade 2, there shall be 3 interactive sessions per video. And for grade 3 to grade 7, there will be 2 interactive sessions per video. Remember, for grade 1 and grade 2, there shall be 3 interactive sessions per video. And for grade 3 to grade 7, there shall be two interactive sessions per video once the video has been uploaded. In the first or the first and second interactive sessions, general discussions on the topic and doubt clearance will be done. In the last interactive sessions, there will be a review of the unit test 
and how it has to be attended by the students. The unit test is conducted for every unit. Remember, the unit test is conducted for every unit on the same day as the video for the next unit to be uploaded. Remember, the unit test is conducted for every unit on the same day as a video for the next unit to be uploaded. You can have a look at the schedule for the video uploading, class notes, worksheets and unit tests. An important point to be noted here is this. For grade 1 to 5, only the unit test papers, remember for grade 1 to 5, only the unit test papers need to be sent to the specific grades email ID. For grade 1 to 5, only the unit test papers need to be sent to the specific grades email id they are not obliged to send the class notes or worksheets of any subjects only the unit test answer sheets to be sent as for the grades 6 and 7 both the worksheets and the unit test papers need to be uploaded I remember here also only the worksheets and unit test papers need to be uploaded class notes is for the students for themselves to download or to write down and study kindly note that we have provided email ids for every class therefore send the worksheets or the test unit unit test papers only to those email ids i repeat again send the worksheets or unit test papers only to those email IDs specifically given for grades. Please do not send them to the official email ID of the school because teachers have no access to the official email ID. For further clarifications, doubt clearance and so on and so forth, the interactive sessions are scheduled as follows. It is scheduled on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. The timing for the schedule are as follows. The first session will be from 9.15 to 10 o'clock. It's a 45 minute session. And the second session will be from 11.30 to 12.15. And the third session from 2.30 to 3.15. Please note the timing from 9.15 to 10 o'clock, 11 to 12.15 and 2.30 to 3.15. The detailed schedule class wise will be sent to you. We can go through it, prepare the students to sit according to this schedule, this timetable for the online sessions. To make these live interactive sessions fruitful, we expect everyone's collaboration and support. You know, for everything, there are mandates, rules and regulations and protocols. Here also, there are rules and expected responsible behaviors from the students, from the parents, and everyone who come in this live interaction. First rule, students need a quiet place, free from distractions, to set themselves up for class. Turn off cell phones, TVs, etc. And exit other applications on the computer or mobile prior to entering the classroom. Secondly, Come to the class early. Third, be ready with the textbooks, notebooks, pencils or pen and so on, which are necessary to make the online session more fruitful. Fourth, dress appropriately. Remember that it is still a classroom setting. Attendance will be given for every session. So to say, your attendance is marked if you are absent, it will be shown as absentee. Therefore, sixth rule, use the full name when students sign in to the classroom so that teachers can know which student has come for the online session. And seventh, when entering the classroom, make sure to enable both audio and video in the Google Meet applications. Eight, once you have entered the classroom, mute the microphones while the teacher or the other students speak to avoid disturbing the class 
with any background noise. Ninth, be respectful towards the teachers and classmates. Tenth, avoid sarcasm and any destructive criticisms. Eleventh, how you have to participate. When students have any question or comment, raise your hands. Wait to be acknowledged by the teacher before unmuting yourself to speak. Twelfth, make sure that the students wait for their turn to speak. Thirteen, use the chat option responsibly. It is meant to facilitate conversation around the lesson topic. It is meant to facilitate the conversation around the lesson topic and not for sideline discussions or unnecessary greetings or comments or anything. 14. When the class is over, leave the classroom by closing the window or the application that you are using. And the 15th and one of the important point, before you come for the live interaction, prepare yourself by watching the video and knowing the content so that you will be able to ask meaningful and fruitful questions and the teacher will be able to guide you. And the last violation of any of these rules will lead to, to the dismissal from the interactive sessions and you will not be allowed to join again to disturb, I repeat, you will not be allowed to join again to disturb anyone. I hope these rules are clear to everyone. We will be sending you in details in the WhatsApp groups as well as in the school portal these rules and regulations. I also wish to bring to your kind notice the first term exam scheduled from 5th October to 19th October. This is our semester exam, the first term exam scheduled from 5th October to 19th October. The schedule will be provided to you in advance and the exam will be conducted online. Remember, the exam will be conducted online. The students will have to come live on Google Meet and the respective class teacher or the subject teachers will be invigilating the exam. The answer sheets need to be uploaded at the specified time given. Further details regarding this exam will be communicated in details to you. I wish every divinite a fruitful and successful time of learning. Stay safe, stay happy, God bless you.